Hi, welcome to the channel. Today we're excited. We have ordered some elderberry plants uh, from a farm um, called Burr Oak. I'm gonna put the link below so that you can look at those. This is a great couple uh, retired that uh, grow a large amount of elderberries and they were very gracious enough to get us shipped some stuff so that we could do a video and show you all before it gets too late in the season. So currently I have already uh, gotten 10 clippings, not from Burr Oak, but these are actually American elderberry. And I put them in this pot because I received them in January and I'm not quite ready to put them out yet. So I have those, but with elderberries, you're gonna wanna have a couple of varieties if you want maximum um, growth and maximum yield. So I asked the people at Burr Oak Farms to send me a couple. And what they did was they sent me, I think I've got about eight here. This is Bob Gordon. These two right here are Wildwood, Wild with Y. And these are, these three are Ranch. Okay, so we'll show you real quick what we do here. This is gonna be our first year with the elderberries, but what I wanna focus on letting you all know is Get them in a good medium and let the roots. Now you can see elderberries are really easy to root. Baroque does a great job. You can see these, all of these will come out. I'm a little odd in many ways, but one of the ways that I want to make sure that I get my elderberries going is I want to nurse them for about a week to a week and a half. I'd hate to get these in, have a really hard cold snap and lose the investment in what I've put into buying these. So I have some one gallon pots and what I use is this right here. This is my potting mix. As you all know, we're organic. Uh, this is Beyond Pete. It's a professional organic. This stuff is fantastic. Love it. And try and use uh, this particular brand every chance I get. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our one gallon. This is nothing more than a cement, little cement mix bowl that we have. I'm gonna pot this at a decent amount. I'm gonna tamp it down. And let's start off with these, uh, these ranch. Okay, so what I love about Burr Oak is Burr Oak will, will actually make sure that they put the tops at an angle so idiots like me can't mess up. So all I do with these, these are so easy, is I push them down and I tamp it. Now you can see right here, see right here the little pieces coming out and right here, that needs to be buried. So let's put that one in and I'm gonna leave this tag on so I know but you can see this right here is gonna cause root. So I'm gonna push that in, okay? That's all it is to it. Now I am gonna add just a little bit more dirt. These are shallow rooted, so you don't really wanna go too low. See, that's done. So I'm gonna set that there. Now, we only got three of the uh, ranch. So let's see what we've got here. This is the wild wood. Okay, I'm gonna leave, that's got a rubber band on it. Just be careful when you take the rubber band off. You don't wanna break those little sprouts coming off because that is gonna be a root source. Notice too, in some of my other videos, I talk a lot about utilizing root hormone. Elderberries really don't need a rooting hormone. If you can't root a, an elderberry, you probably don't need to be gardening. Um, again, that's just a little one there. Slanted side up, I'm gonna pack this down, I'm gonna push it, add a little bit more dirt, tamp it in. The wild wood is done, okay, that's two. So there's five right there that we know that we can bring to the farm. Now let me get this one going. This one has the most, not really sure why. You can, when you order from Burr Oak Farm, they send you a variety pack, which is what I have. And I didn't know how much they would send of each. So I just said, hey, they're the experts. Let's see what happens. Again, see how nice it is that they slant this up so you don't make them stay flat in, slanted. It's real nice. Again, here's the section. Just push it down. Okay, now let's see how many we're going to get out of this one. Again, see, look, that one's already starting to come out. When you're Putting these in pots like this, make sure that you, or what I do, is I go around the edges first, and it's a little bit easier to know how much room you're gonna have. Okay, so we're gonna have 
We'll turn that one out. It's a little ginked up. Always need a good ginked up plant in the mix. All right, two, four, six, seven. There's seven, and here's eight, okay? So there's eight elderberry, and again, I leave the tag on so that we know. I'm gonna tamp these down. I'm gonna give them a good watering, and I'm gonna leave them out. Now, today is the 19th of February, okay? I'm gonna probably leave these in here until March 1st. I'm gonna pamper them, and then we've got a new area where we are going to be planting. And Savannah and Izzy and I will go up and we will put these in place and get these measured. But again, I will take, as you know, these, I'm gonna make one row of these 10, okay? On the other row, I'm gonna plant these and mark them so that I know. So that down the road, if I wanna do some of these propagations, I'll know which ones are which. But that's it. Elderberries are very, very easy to grow. If you have any questions, comments, please put them in the section below. And if you want more information on Burr Oak, look down below and I'm gonna put a link to that. Wonderful people and they're great to work with. Thanks a lot.